Hi, I'm Kirby with Augustine eBikes, and thanks for watching our YouTube channel. I hope the videos we put together every week for you are entertaining, educational. I hope you learn something from them because we enjoy making them just for you guys. Yeah, I'm really excited to show you guys the uh, 1500 watt kit I got this week with the built-in controller inside the motor itself. And I'm also really excited to show you the TFT 750 color LCD display, which has all sorts of ability to control the bike, uh, all sorts of settings, uh, and the onboard information that you get on the display itself, which is crystal clear, uh, is great. It's just a whole panoply of different information that you really want to have available. And what's great about this is that here's the, here's the LCD, it's all connected by one wire to these quick disconnects, which are waterproof, uh, which is a great, it makes my life a lot easier for assembling this. And so you've got a connection to the throttle, you've got a connection to the LCD, and then all connects to the rear hub, which is where the controller is, with a uh, twist on that makes it waterproof and tight. So, uh, and as I'm going to show you, this is, they're snug, they do come apart, obviously, but this really keeps the water out and keeps them protected and it's just a great system really simple and uh, here's my connections for my battery and of course you can connect any kind of adapter you need for the battery board what, what's great is it eliminates those bulky controllers and all the wires that have always been something to struggle with um, just in terms of where to put them how to organize them and all of that is built into the wheel itself and so it's a 35 amp controller, very powerful, connects with this one plug, and um, it saves con connection time and setup time by easily cuts 30, 35 minutes off of that. And it's all built into the wheel. And of course, then it comes with a seven speed freewheel uh, because the, the motor is actually thicker. I'm, cur I'm currently running a 1200 watt, which is just a little bit thinner and can take an eight or a nine speed cassette. And then here it is, I've, I've put it on, and then, as you can see, I've got my battery connector. But what it does is it just runs one wire underneath the, uh, the bottom tube. And it connects right up to um, the LCD display and then all the way back to the uh, controller in the hub motor. And uh, it couldn't have been simpler to install. Uh, and again, as I said, it eliminates the bulky controller. The only thing I had to do was put a lock nut on the rear wheel because the torque was so much that the uh, the nut that it came with uh, just kept getting loose through vibration. But with the lock nut, it's completely secure, really tight. And that was the only addition I had to do. So what I'm going to do is get on this bike. I put my 48-volt, 30-amp-hour battery in the middle of the triangle battery, and I'm ready to roll. Uh, so I'm going to take a ride on this, see how it performs. But again, I'm really excited. I've, I've been looking at this for a long time. And so I'm just going to take a ride through uh, Santa Cruz, about put maybe about 30 miles on it and see how it performs. Now initially I can tell it is really powerful and really responsive. Um, at least well, it feels almost twice as responsive and powerful as my 1200 watt. But um, I'm going to take it out for a ride and uh, you can join me just to see how this works.
It did great on hills, took it on flats and traffic. Um, and that's it. There's my 1500 watt uh, built in controller uh, with the color LCD. And I couldn't be more thrilled. It's just a great, great ride.